Welcome Capricorn Aquarius to your mid-month reading for October. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay guys, let's see what's going on with you, what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you during the mid-month. Best message please for Cap Aqua. Best message for Cap Aqua. Oh man, that came out real fast. Look at that. Taking things very serious, standing your ground, being in power. Wow. I'm feeling very stable at the moment. Everything feels very serious right now. I'm, I'm not hesitating. I'm taking things really serious. So right now, it's really time to sit on your throne and take everything very serious at this time, my friends. So, clarifying on the Emperor. This card won't only clarify on the Emperor, but the entire reading. Diversity upside down. Yeah, definitely not hesitating. Not hesitating to do what I need to do. There it feels like there could have been a reason why the diversity is upside down, obviously, right? Could be saying I was hesitating before. Now that I found the power, I found the stability, and I'm taking things overly serious right now um, for a very good reason. I'm not going to hesitate to go forward and do the things that I need to do. So there's definitely something you need to take action with, and you know this. Um, and you have the freedom to change things. Um, and you're taking it serious to do so. So recognizing what it is that you need. Keeping yourself super focused on whatever this mission is that you're on over here, right? <clears throat> and it's kind of what it feels like. It's like, I'm on a mission right now. I'm taking things serious. Don't bug me. Sitting on my throne. Okay. So going over here straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and the near future. Oh, yeah. King of Schools upside down. And this could be yourself because it's an analytical person and talking about that Aquarius side of you is very analytical. So it actually could be yourself. I actually feel it is yourself. Um, I think that's where the hesitation was. Maybe you're overthinking a situation. We're not thinking enough about the situation. Take that how that resonates for you guys, right? Because I'm feeling like the King of Scrolls is yourself. It's saying this is the analytical, this is the analytical person, right? I'm not worried about man or woman. I'm just saying person, okay? Because why? Because it's saying the analytical tends towards overthinking and it may be a loss of a friend, a coworker, even a love relationship, overthinking a job opportunity, overthinking life things, right? It could be anything you're overthinking, right? So it's saying you were overthinking and you need to separate yourself from overthinking. It's causing stress. It's causing you not to move. Uh, could be giving you lack of um, any kind of action or movement, right? Because you're just overthinking every step that you're taking. So I do feel that that is you, my friends. Because why also? Because now it's saying I'm not hesitant. And when you're overthinking, you can become very hesitant to want to do something because I'm trying to think about what I'm supposed to do. So now that you're serious, now that you have it, now that you feel you have the control and the power, now you can say I'm not hesitant anymore. Oh, I don't need to overthink anymore. I've got it, right? Or you could say, I'm just going with the flow, but I'm going to allow myself to stay in control and not overthink everything that I'm doing, right? Okay. And it was. It was kind of a disloyalty to yourself um, to do such a thing, of course. Of course it is. It's a disloyalty to yourself. It's because it's not allowing you to move, to take action, to do the things you need to do. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yeah, a disloyalty for you to take any action or do anything passionate that you're trying to do. Um, whether it's hesitating on going after a love, um, we'll just say anything you're passionate about. Right. And leave that up to you. And some of you, it is love. Man, I'm going to say one thing and then the card's going to pop up. Right. Okay. It's like, oh, yeah, I got you on this one. Okay, so for some of you, it was 
not moving towards a new love, not taking the opportunity, not taking the things that you're supposed to do. Otherwise, just not using your intuition enough and overthinking the situation. How about that? Mm -hmm. Because, right, because the Queen of Cups says, I know what's in my cup because I'm intuitive enough to see. You're over here saying, I'm not intuitive enough to see because I'm too busy analytically thinking about everything instead of using that for love. So for those of you, right, who you're saying this is a love, there you go. Um, otherwise, it's because you're not intuitive enough to see the blessings, okay? Everybody who's been here knows it doesn't have to be about love. I didn't ask about love. I asked for the best question. So therefore, it leaves it open to all kinds of things, right? So therefore, it's blessings. It could be the love. It could be the blessings. It could be the things that you're in love with. Okay, the Aunt Akashic Library over here is saying, well, now what? Now I'm thinking. Now I'm sitting on my throne. Now I know exactly what I'm doing. I can look at the self-awareness. Look at the things that I'm really doing with my intuition, with my intuition, thinking deeper on a deeper level, having better motives, better understanding about the situation without having to get myself trapped in this analytical mindset of trying to make everything perfect. Okay. You can add a little over here, take a little away, catch your breath, do what you need to do, use your imagination, you can do all kinds of things when you're the emperor. And this keeps you moving. So now you feel like you're on the move. Now you're actually taking action to be able to move and get to where you need to be. And you find that there's different directions to the situation as well. See, even though you're analytically thinking, and see, it's Aquarius again, even though if you're analytically thinking, it was actually getting you stuck. It wasn't really getting you into different directions. Because I think when sometimes we overthink things, we only believe there's only this one direction or this perfect timing, this one perfect timing, this one direction, but there's not, right? And now I can feel like I can see all kinds of different directions. If I'm going after this love, there's other ways of doing so without it have to be just this one way. No, because it stopped you, you know, stopped in your tracks. And it did, it stopped you in your tracks. And now you can feel that you can move from where you once were stuck. And then you become the emperor. So now that you're moving where you were once stuck and saying, oh, well, I can't move. Now you're saying I can do all kinds of things. So really feeling that power again. So this is just saying this is what you become and you know because this is in your energy and this is who you are. Now you have the power, now you're strong. And you have the freedoms to do so with the justice card. And the justice card is saying, because now it's the truth, the truthful things will come out. Things will be more justified. But the biggest piece of the justice is what? The balance. So now you can use your analytical thinking with your intuition and feel like you're completely balancing yourself without just being in one place. There's a lot of hard work and a lot of reflection going on within this um, situation. So you could also be going to work. Maybe you're trying to balance out work and this love situation, and maybe that's where you got stuck trying to figure out how I'm going to maneuver around something. The situation, right? I'm going to leave it at something situation, right? Instead of seeing things through rose-colored glasses. Oh, my gosh. Totally, though, right? Because if you're overthinking everything, then maybe you're only seeing it one way, so that your perception is off. The moon over here can also be perception is not clear. Um, right? And having no intuition, not seeing it clearly. So maybe my rose colored glasses said there was nothing here, right? I can't get around this. And now you can see it differently and taking action the way you want to take action and feeling like you have more power and you're in more control once again with the emperor. Very beautiful. So there goes that diversity again though, right? I mean, it literally is adding up to the diversity. I mean, every card, right? The diversity is saying, I can only do this. I'm only hesitant to do that. So man, that diversity being there is really, really opening up the whole reading for sure. Because we can see the diversities, the diversities between the analytical and then the <clears throat> intuition. But the beautiful thing is, is that in the present, you get to bring them both together. That's what makes you this emperor, right? So that's what's so awesome. 
And you're going to feel it unless you've already started feeling this, right? But it's going to keep you moving in the right direction. And it's going to make you feel like you're in control. But this control is going over here with the Akashic field. Okay, and the reason is, is because we've already got so much control over here that we know, look, when you're in the Akashic field, you're going to have the control that you need within the forces of the Akashic field. And what is the Akashic field? The field of the realm of energy, right? The amazing opportunities at the right time. You can increase and accelerate the experience by opening the doors to this area of your life, right? This is where you get to engage and pursue the things that you need to do, the goals, the willing to align not only with yourself, but stay there. So pretty much what the Akashic field is kind of saying is, look, you've already aligned over here. Now you get to take control and stay because you figured it out. It's kind of like the aha moment because it's an energy field. So you're saying, oh, this is the energy I want to stay in because it does feel good because I'm not stressed out. I'm getting things done. I'm not hesitating on doing the things I need to do within this situation. Wow. And the queen of coins, there it is. Because look now, you got that beautiful Capricorn energy coming in and that's what you're gonna really want to keep yourself balanced, right? Because you're gonna, no matter what, you're Aquarius, you're gonna want the analytical thinking, right? Uh, just plain and simple. You know, air signs do. So here we go, especially Aquarius and Libra for a fact, right? Okay, but then you have the Queen of Coins coming in, so you're saying, I can keep the peace here, but I can still have the simplicities and the grounding that I want, and it's favorable for you, and you're going to feel like you're in your own energy. <laughs> wow, your own energy with the Akashic Field, and you're going to hold on to that energy, and look at this. This is also a Capricorn card, and it's saying yes, and you're going to feel like you're... You're going to be on top of where you need to be. So your abundance areas of happiness, uh, prosperities, money, however it is, it's, but it's simplistic, right? It's grounding, it's firm, and it's simplistic. And it's going to make you feel like you're exactly where you're supposed to be when it comes to that. You can't ask for any more than that. Especially for cuss signs as well, because um, I don't want you to feel imbalanced, right? Taking on too much of one sign and not the other Will make you feel really imbalanced and we find i find this all the time right i just had someone write on my page i'm glad they took it down there cuss signs don't exist i said you have to tell that to a cuss sign i've heard this my whole life but look you have to balance the two together okay because then it's going to make you feel whole again without feeling like you're, you're missing something because you have too much energy of two coming together and of course during the month i know I know sometimes you're going to take on, you know, especially if you're, you are Capricorn, you're going to take on more Capricorn certain times of the month. But then when that Aquarius really wants to come through, if you don't acknowledge it, it's going to make you feel imbalanced. So this is where you're going to find the balance. And this is going to, wow, it's going to bring in the Wheel of Fortune. Of course it is. Because it's going to bring in the Wheel of Fortune for what? The harmony, the bliss. And the peace and the balance. And it's just going to allow you, there's that simplicity also moving moderately. So you're going to feel like you're actually moving moderately without getting stuck over here and not moving or moving too fast in another area, right? And like I said, it doesn't matter if it's within love or job. It could be whatever it is. Okay. Very beautiful reading. So yeah, get ready to have that. So I think that if by the end of the month, Seriously, I, I don't feel this is too far away, guys. I do believe that by the end of the month, you're really going to feel this. Around Halloween, you're really going to feel this energy really start taking play to where you're going to have that kind of like I can breathe again feeling because you're working on it right now to where you feel like you're in so much control. So you're just going to keep it there. And then we'll see how long it lasts, right? <laughs> Before you have to do it all over again. Or something tries to catch you off balance again, such as life. Okay, so your daily healing card is distinguish the importance of your inner spiritual work from outer success. Well, see, you kind of are in a lot of ways. Take that how it resonates, right? Because that's a lot of what you're doing and keeping it very sim simple 
and very comfortable. Okay, so we will put this here. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.